हरे कृष्णा आई एम माधव कीर्ति दास डॉक्टर ऑफ नेचुरोपैथी एंड डॉक्टर इन योगा इंटरनेशनल होलिस्टिक हेल्थ कोच टुडे विद दिस वीडियो आई वांट टू शेयर द टिप्स एंड प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ डूइंग निर्जला एकादशी सो वेल आई हैड आई एम प्रिपेयरिंग दिस वीडियो सो दैट दिस कैन रीच टू मैक्सिमम डिवोटीज पीपल इन योर कॉन्ग्रीगेशन टेम्पल एंड ऑल कैन नो हाउ यू कैन ऑब्जर्व दिस निर्जला पांडे एकादशी ट्रेवल फ्री you know when our body is travel free then you can do more rounds of chanting more japa kirtan more association and more things more devotional activities you can do but what happens when we do nirjal ekadashi in not a proper way not following the principles of physiological principle then it becomes difficult for us many devotees get start getting you know headache or low blood pressure or so many things you know and they spell entire day and then they end up that they can't follow the nirjala ekadashi in this regard last year i had released one video some of the devotees uh, were able to watch it on time but many could not watch it on time so this time i am making this video well ahead so that it can reach maximum devotees now i will explain what we have to do so day before nirjala ekadashi we have to take only your lunch at midday let's say 12 to 1 you take your proper lunch okay whatever you want take your proper lunch after that you don't have to eat any more uh, grain meal like no dinner no snacks in the evening what you can do maximum is you can have juice a lot of juice or fruits even at night also if you feel hungry take fruits okay that's not a problem many have question night shall we take uh, fruits or no no you can take fruits okay even at night so make sure next day morning you get up early and find out the time from which time exactly ekadashi starts so let's say ekadashi starts from 4 am then before 4 am you take a lot of water drink a lot of water fill your stomach with water i say whole day you will not have need of water so next day how you will break is you will break your ekadashi with only two or one or two jagannath chawal jagannath rice or whatever normal grains you take but don't only one grain of rice is more than enough to break the fast in power on a time after that first thing that you do is two glass of uh, lemon water lemon and jaggery and after taking this lemon water after half an hour you can have two glass of juice and then after one and a half or two hours of taking juice you can have a bowl full bowl of fruits and then after this fruits two hour two and half hour fruit you can have at midday like 12 o'clock 11 at 12 o'clock you can take your you know steamed vegetable steamed salad vegetable and uh, normal meal grain meal you know your lunch that lunch should be less spicy no fried item and no oily so avoid oil fried item okay and no uh, garished bhojan like hard to digest food like uh, rajma chole these things should be avoided because our body was in rest mode in a mode of detoxification so our liver is not ready to you know uh, <clears throat> process the things which we eat so now the what is the principle why i am saying this is the principle is that whatever you eat it takes 12 hours to 16 hours in a process of digestion so let's say if you will eat dinner like normal devotee what they do is tomorrow is ekadashi what they will do they will understand oh tomorrow is ekadashi let's have dinner you know full dinner bar pet dinner so that next day they can survive but they are doing wrong mistake so if you take dinner then it will digest till next day let's say like you are taking dinner at 9 o'clock or 8 o'clock so it the digestion keeps happening 12 o'clock 1 o'clock understand and whatever toxin matters remits out of digestive process that requires water to flush out from the body so what will happen your body will take water from the blood blood stream what happens then blood will be blood pressure will be down and then you will feel headache and you know no energy at all you will likely to remain healthy you will likely to remain you know energetic and uh, motivated to chant more rounds because it will be physiological support so if you want to observe this nirjala ekadashi without any trouble without any physical problem so that you can chant well you can execute your devotional services and nicely then you must follow better you prepare your ekadashi 
a day before the way I recommend you. Esteemed salad, why I am recommending esteemed salad? Salad generally we are advised to take raw. Why I am telling? Because our liver was in a mode of detoxification. So what happens when we supply the raw food, raw food like a salad, then probably your liver is not ready to detox those raw material when you esteem it automatically so many virus bacteria fungus will be removed so it will be less pressure on your liver to detox your food so that after nejala ekadshi it is highly recommended not to take uh, raw salad fruits is fine in fruits because there is a peels inside the peels there is a fruit so the chances of remaining bacteria and all these things less far far less than the salad, raw salad so just follow this tips hopefully last year when i released this video though it was very late it helped so many devotees even devotees suffering from diabetes i'll tell you for the diabetes person uh, you should be very careful you uh, first of all you follow the way i'm telling you taking fr fruits is not a problem for diabetic person but however you followed my instruction but uh, still if you get a headache after in afternoon or any time during day you you take water you take fruits uh, otherwise your uh, kasi will be missed and you cannot chant properly even so idea is to first strengthen your body make eligible to do fasting and that can be done only practicing this way if you have any questions please write down in the comment box i will try to respond it uh, uh, quickly uh, as much as possible and uh, those who uh, uh, know me and you have my number please you can whatsapp and this video is so relevant for the devotees who is observing nirjala ekadshi for them it's very important so kindly don't forget to share this video like this video and if you like it then please subscribe the channel as well it will be great help for us so you can circulate these videos to in your congregation in temple wherever you are so that maximum devotees can follow this way of doing Nirjalai Katsi. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you will share this among your congregation and devotees. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.